Okay. 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 I see a computer. Click, click. It will click, and I'm sick, sick. I mean, slick with the Rick. Rick would use this. What, what, is, what is this? Yeah. Ew. Not using those. Okay. I can pick somebody. Oh, she looked like she was on truck. This dude, like, he was smart. Alert. A nuclear apocalypse. I'm in an executing order 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence outro citizen emergency drill. Embrace for nuclear impact. Okay, we're, we're already starting right now. Oh, the can of soup. We're about to eat. Can be stored up to 737 years. Even as. Damn. This thing could last long than me. <laughs> Welcome to Arctic 13 Space Station. Okay, you're not gonna let me read that. Move, Astro Citizen. We don't have much time. Okay, we move it. We move it. Okay, how we how we collect things? Okay, all right, we collect it. We collect it. We collect it with the bill collector. All right, come on, drop. All right, skip to the shot. Okay, can, can, how do we pick things up? I just picked that up. Uh, now I'm just knocking shit down. Uh, where's the timer at? I need to know this. I need to know these things real quick. Can we pick up that can? Nope. Keep running. Just keep running. Cause I don't know. Find some medical supplies. Okay. Oh, this dude. Okay, we're not taking you. You look too scared. Hello, darkness, my old If you're sad, don't be sad. Find a handbook. Okay, we about to learn. Oh, let's go. Keep running, keep running. My dude is just a track star right now. Oh, she's angry. Hello, who you cursing at? Damn. Her face looking like she having a bad day. Like, who's about to be bombed? Hey. Ah, found you. There we go. To the shuttle. All right, we're going to books. To the shuttle. Bed. Find some crafting resources. Oh, found them. Easy. Let's drop them down. Let's go. Find a crewmate. Tweedle dumbass. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Let me just take you real quick, everybody. Okay, take you to... Oh, you can't... Damn, you about to taste nuclear power. Tell me how that tastes. Incoming missile detected. Higher risk of impact. Grab whatever you, and whoever you can and escape. You got 60 seconds. All right, bet. I'm grabbing this food. I'm grabbing this. Don't have to tell me twice. Come on. Come on. We about to eat today. We about to eat. Where, where's our drinks at? You know we got to be tipsy too. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, girl looking fine too. What are you doing? Okay. I thought you was cooking up some pot. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got some good bags. We Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci. You girl, cause um, even though you look like you want drugs, fine as hell. Drop her real quick. Drop. Go, go, let's go, let's go. How we? Oh, we got thirty seconds. Go, 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 go. On. All right. All right. Oh. Okay. This dude, dolphin dive. My boy say Michael Phelps. Power, minerals, chemicals, resources for all your crafted and upgrading needs. I bet. All right, so this is the crew. We got freaking handsome. Jack Sparrow. We got look at the cans, boy. We about to eat, boy. We got this lady right here. Look like she ain't having it. But she cool though. She cool though. I, I like her. Okay. What's going on? What, how we play this game? Can you teach me the basics? Hi, Astro. Computerized assistant. Reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you're qualified to become the captain of the vessel. Welcome aboard to escape, shuttle captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, Please accept our apologies for the tiny inconvenience of being transported to 60, 60 parsecs away from Earth. Your mission is to find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please power up the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regu uh, regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Good luck. You're gonna need it, Captain. Bet. Make five successful intelligence distribute decisions. Current goal find an appropriate landing spot okay we gotta find an appropriate landing spot the floor is yours captain you should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and its crew to the stars you have prepared it of course the crew is eyeing you anxiously the time to show your true colors is now this is it you can really show what bread what breed of captain will you be on this incredible journey what kind of speech will you give okay agility intelligence strength intelligence we need to be we need to be smart as fuck about this we need intelligence right now oh uh, yeah I'm, I'm dropping that intelligence bomb right there okay uh anybody hungry can i can i see if anybody's hungry right now i don't think anybody what's your name tom yeah you look like a tom all right what's your name dd you look like a dd too damn you look like your own name that's crazy day two okay is that being happy or is that being what are you losing your minds okay you knew exactly what to say you can visit speech 
was more than enough to prove your worth as a captain of the last human crew on the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain. Build the cabin if you uh, if any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship. One thing is for sure, you are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. You seem alert, Captain. I commend the way you've been taking care of your mental well-being. You should know that peak mental conditions mean increased effective uh, <laughs> I can't me. <laughs> when it comes to performing any task, Tom says he's glad to have you as his captain. Dee Dee reported being glad to have you as her captain. Oh, Dee Dee, you could get this. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I thought she was crazy right now. I was about to say, your eyes don't match your lips when they <laughs> smile. Hunger, okay. Health, okay. Sanity, okay. Moral, loyal. Okay, you loyal? <laughs> let me find out. Both of you is loyal. Okay, let me see. Oh, you got the medic? Okay, you don't definitely don't need. You don't look hurt. My boy looking chillax and ready and calm. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. What poor Portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one can could. Uh, uh -huh. What? Even one can could be the difference between life and death. That's why it's important to keep good inventory and stuff. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. Was it though? Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. We will perform your routine supply check. The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but. I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Bro, my dude got, yo, I think this dude's smart as freak. Oh, as Captain, with mathematics, boy can handle it. Yep, okay, this freaking loyal. Both of these guys are loyal. You're gonna stay with me, okay. We got armor too, hello. I'm glad I took that. Skip a day. Y'all not hungry, y'all not thirsty, so we're not even gonna do that. Ooh, we still getting soup too? Bro, pop it up. Yo, whoever's saving the day right now. Good news, Captain. This shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. We can. The routine supply check is now complete. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. The number added up. Good job, human crew. Current number of soup. Yep, is nine. Let's go. Correction. The accurate tally is actually 11. Additional food stuff were delivered in the shuttle. Instead of the entertainment supply. Lucky you. Let's get it. Oh, we can scroll up. I didn't even know we can scroll up. Okay. Bam. We got mad care. We got 11 cans of food. We straight right now. Captain, crafting uh, the crafting module is back of the cabin has been activated. It's pretty self-explanatory. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade items and shuttle system. Bet. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let me see. What are we looking like? Okay. 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 Loyal. Okay. 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 Loyal. Okay. We good? Okay. Where's my dude? Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, I see you. Captain gotta be alert. I see you right now. With the fresh cut too? Who cut who cut it up? This dude got the fresh cut too. Yo, bruh. You got the fades. Okay, twin. Close it. End of the day. Day number four. Yep. Day number four. Let's get it. Captain, I told you I activated the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I thought it was simple enough to operate by humans, but perhaps I was wrong. You remain very mentally stable. DD remains loyal. Hey, what's up, DD? I'm, st I'm still saying. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, this is my this is my agilities and everything. All oh, of my stats. Okay, good. My agility is flexible. Intelligence genius, bruh. Look, good thing we got him on the mathematics. Strength would be, of course. I don't know. This strength, this guy's strength was probably good too. I'm not gonna lie. He probably a little bit beady on the medium side. Despite his brilliant mind, Emma has always been undervalued and misunderstood by his peers. Biggest scientific challenge and to get away from his ungrateful job as a chemistry teacher, he signed up for the Astro Citizen program, hoping this will be the place where he can finally earn the appreciated respect he deserves. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Leave a shitty environment to be in an environment that accepts you. Fact. Captain's goal. Five successful intelligence attribute uh, decisions. Show them what you've got and get do respect as a scientist let's go okay uh, okay 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 loyal okay okay damn they hold it they hold it up right now i don't even need to feed them bro they holding up good okay what is this? what what oh no i've been hacked the virus came in a transmission from the small asteroid it's taking over flight control and staring us away help captain get me out we gotta use our intelligence right now Definitely can't use our boost rig, or we're gonna be fucking up the system. Alright, let's do it. Boom. Come on. With my brains, I got this. Easy. You push it to, uh, you push the emergency console into the quarantine the virus. Yes. Yeah, see? See? I am healthy and whole again. Thank you, Captain. 
We checked on the asteroid from which the virus originated. It was actually an alien supply warehouse. Unfortunately for us, soup is universal. Ah, uh, we got the soup again. Bruh. We straight. You remain quiet and alert. You are hungry, Captain. Tom is asking for some soup. This complaining about the empty stomach. Okay, yeah, both. Yeah, both. You've been, hug been holding it in. So, soup. Can I give her more soup? Bruh. Ration soup. Yeah, ration soup to all. So, she gets one. He gets one. <laughs> He gets one, exactly. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're goody, we're goody. Attention, Captain. I'm detecting a leak in our reactor coolant system. In case you were wondering, this is not good. Did I mention you should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor? Please, don't. Also, how are you going to fix this? We got armor, right? Ooh, we can't, we can't do nothing. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a mask, so we can't really do anything about it. Damn. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna definitely bite us in the ass. Day six, okay, we're surviving right now, we're surviving. Teamwork goes so much better when a group of humans is faced with the possibility of a radioactive death. With all the chaos and cries for help, can't even tell which one of you managed to fix the leak in the end. Too bad you inhaled quite a bit of the uh, coolant in the process. You're not hungry anymore, time is doing okay, soup wise. Okay, we're good. Time is weak. Oh, life is at stake. What? Heck is that life is at stake? Captain, consider sharing the first aid kit with him unless you wanna you want to be one crewmate sure very soon dd's Dee not hungry anymore yeah. do we have we do have one okay dude are you good right now it's because he inhaled that thing make a decision there was nothing to report captain i suggest you captain would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn I thought you got a good night's sleep wait this could be boredom yes i have heard that humans need excitement in their lives to function properly how curious captain you're sitting in an art space shuttle Drifted through the deep cosmos, full of wonder and mysteries. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? We got the book. We got the book. Let's go. I just got the book. Yesterday started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around. Browsing your Astro Citizen handbook to the toil, I mean, in the airlock, you found a set of exercises and decided to try them out. You did jumpy jacks all afternoon. How fun, but more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. Tom is feeling better today. He's no longer weak. Good, Tom. We need you, bro. We don't need a dead corpse inside space. All right, come on. What's happening? Oop, all right. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering an unknown transmission, but I cannot identify who's sending them. And it's more importantly that what they contain, it might be a solar flare interference or worse. A new type of Soviet. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, our survival depends on it. Who wants to? Who do you want to put in charge for monitoring these communications? Ah, uh, I'll. Yeah, I'll put him in charge of that. Okay, cause he's he's smart. So I don't know. I don't know these guys. We should keep. We should keep. We uh, no. We should do what we already know. Let's say that. Friend zone. Hold up. I got an achievement called friend zone. Did I friend zone somebody? Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the, one of the what? One of the greatest moments of humanity and human made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signal is being intercepted. We're finally descriptive. There are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I don't mean the Reds. It's a it's something that we have never seen before. This be this seems to be another intelligent civilization to the galaxy. These signals are coming from everywhere we can safely assume that we are going to meet some of them sooner or later our or rather your life will never be the same captain you did a splendid job captain the astro magnet interference that you trace point to what it seems to be a potential landing spot in our flight path our eta to that celestial body or whatever it might be is t3 you are not really complaining but you know you're hungry captain tom is asking for some soup dd is now your friend hey we got we got the friend stage they say yeah he was hungry soup i right, was sex was sex okay hungry hungry friend let's do this hungry too okay but we'll lose this soup fast i don't know about this okay let's see this we just suffered a collision with the asteroid our solar shield is kaput if the damage isn't repaired you'll be cooked alive we have spare panels, but they need to be installed outside the ship. How do we proceed? That we need strength to do that. We don't need agility. Let's do it. Feed this too. Please don't be. Please don't be hurt. Please somebody don't be hurt. Oh, she's hurt. She's hurt. We didn't fix the solar shield, but you and the crew tried to move the solar panels out of the air stock. Someone tripped. Ah, you and you went flying. Your crew, your crewmate caught you before you tumbled off to the edge of the shuttle into the vast. You survived. Be more careful next time. Still on an approach to a potential landing. Like EA T2, two days? Okay. Yeah, now hungry times. Now hungry. DD's weak. She's getting worse by the hour. Captain, consider crafting a first aid kit and sharing it with her. Unless you want to. Ah, dang. 
And she's asking for soup too. Huh. She's weak. And my friend, yo, I gotta give this to her. How do I craft? I need craft. Can we craft this? Ten, ten. Boom. <laughs> ah. I should have liked the EM shields found on a large vessel, but simply, it was never meant for long term space travel. There is some inherent risk, namely to your skin. Remember, remember how your mom always told you to wear sunscreen on a beach? You're way more likely to get sunburned out here. Damn, we can't. We're gonna have a freaking thing. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> we're fucked. Please tell me she's alive. Oh, we're about to be fucked. Did not wear sunscreen to block the harsh electromagnetic rays flying randomly through the vacuum of space. Calm, you claim that sunscreen makes you makes you break out. Can't verify if that's true or false, seeing as I'm an AI. I have never experienced a pimple. <laughs> your skin is radiating heat. You're complaining of, uh, you're, you're complaining of fatigue. And you've got a telltale crimson glow that's the trademark of a developing sunburn. Too late now. You have to wait and hope we exit this bad patch of radiation soon. A laver could help if we had any. Enjoy being a lobster. Damn. It's planet and no planet whatever we're flying into is getting closer EA to one. You're you still alert? Do you still consider you as a friend? Nice. DD remains weak. She's not hungry anymore. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's weak though. Where? When is this going to be done? Two days. What? Are you for real? Mm. Is he hungry right now? He's okay. He's okay. He's loyal. I don't like this. I don't like this. Captain Wheel will still be passing the unidentified floating object. Visual should be available any minute. There it is. No. That's not a speck of dirt on the screen. Other barely distinguishable dot. Yeah, that one. It's an asteroid of fascinating makeup. If we broke a piece of it off, it could serve it well. Okay, then if you want to break a piece of it off, you gotta use strength, right? You gotta use strength. You don't use intellect to break shit. You're not freaking... Oh no, who? Professor X, gather your tools. I went out as we passed the asteroid. Things didn't go well as planned. You didn't manage to break the piece off. It got zapped with an unexpected output of energy instead did we lose our armor one of the tools you carry took most of the discharge avoided the mission to avoid any more mishaps it's a shame but at least you're still in one piece yay this dude got bad luck even though he's smart as let's see we need uh, one more day well okay i'm waiting for one more day this dude is weak i mean this girl's weak sir a wild sight has crooked up on my skin a dark swirly skied planet has appeared before us it's covered in a giant storm, but beneath the dark swirls, I, my scanners detect hazy and distinct heat signatures and a multitude of structures. Time to spot. Oh, Thunderbird's world is probably an improvement over this. Should we initiate landing? Let's initiate landing. Oh, there's the planet. Ah, uh, should we initiate landing? I mean, if you say it is safe, then it's safe. Damn! You good? Okay, it sounds like you crashed, boy. Now descend towards the storm-ridden planet. Piped up and said he recognized the storm below. Looks like our prediction are for Earth after a Soviet nuclear attack. He said with a pause. But with your with you in command, sir, we can weather anything. With Tom's known in mind. You beautifully direct our craft away from particularly green parts of the atmosphere onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Unfortunately, however, electricity fried the communicator on the way down. Once on the ground, Tom looked out and realized this wasn't at all like a nuclear Soviet attack. This was something else. This planet's surface has experienced numbers of wars and traumas, nuclear or otherwise. We'd best be wary while exploring, Captain. DD still pulling her health. We got the we got the first aid, so we're gonna help her out. Aha. There you go. All right, you're healthy and well now. I just hope you don't get unhealthy, please. A module in the back of the cabin has been activated. My advice: order someone to put a spacesuit on and send them outside. We must learn everything we can about the place. One small step for Astro. Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left for humanity. Uh, then can I choose? This is definitely a strange new world. Day 13, day 13. Captain, my advice is to search for more s supplies outside. It would be a good idea to send someone out from time to time. Feel hungry, Topsy asking for soup. Dee is still complaining about the lack of rations. Dee feels better, okay? She's no longer weak. Okay, I'm glad you're not weak. 
Alright, round to go. We got four left. I think we can craft some more, right? Oh, we can repair this. What was this? Armor. Yeah, it is, it is damage. Okay. We definitely need more soup. So let's craft that. Huh? What is that? Captain? There's something. Captain, there's something that we need. Captain, can you hear me, Captain? Okay, actually, I get you. Ah, you say, oh, in these situations, right? I hate raising my volume, but that malfunctioning body odor removal filter is making it making a racket it's malfunction what do you want to do with a book we can hear it perfectly we don't need to do we don't need to do anything good news bad news captain protocol dictates that i delivers the bad news first the body odor removal filter is no longer working here go the smell good news is the noise is gone thankfully it wasn't central system not for me anyway your crewmates appear disappointed by the smell Crafting complete. Yep, new item. We got soup. Okay. You don't need extra rations for now. Okay, good. Time is okay. Soup wise, okay. Stop asking for more soup now. Good. Didi feels vigorous today. She does look healthy, doesn't she? The energy boost will surely increase her performance. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Vigorous. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Positive. Okay. Communicator! Let's craft the communicator. Oh, saw red letters. Yeah, right was that was crafting a communicator. Captain, we were able to detect transmission from unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communication console was damaged during the landing, and we cannot make anything out of them, or a reply for that matter. We can hardwire our primitive field communicator by bypass the damaged subsystem and access the shuttle external transmitter and receiver. Can't do that, sir. Alright, things are looking. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. Time remains loyal, crafting complete. A new item, communicator. You should eat something, Captain. Let's ask for more rations. She's doing well. She's alert this time. Bruh, she just. Yo, I, yo, she. Yo, okay, she was not on drugs. Look at her. Okay, I see. He's hungry. He's hungry, but yeah, we're about to die for these rations, bro. Captain's unavailable. Boy, you better wake your ass up. Captain, something's not right. There's an uncontrolled power surge in a crafting module. I cannot do anything to stop it. This is no accident. It's a uh, sabotage. Someone needs to fix it immediately or it's going to blow up. Okay, we need you to fix it. Use the brains in this. Okay, let's go. Please be able to fix it, bro. Please be able to fix it. Ha! Ha! Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You're dead, bro. Oh, we're we're, we're fine. Um, bye bye. This dude, our leader, is dead. You were killed in action. It was rather sudden. The universe is full of cool surprises. So if I picked anything else, anybody else, they would have died. Game. Bullshit. I know you thought you would be able to fix things, Captain. We all did. But clearly it was not the case. The crafting module exploded and you exploded with it. That's a wrap! Didi is still alert. Didi continues to be your friend. She's your friend when you're dead next to her. Okay, it looks vigorous today. How are you happy? You seeing your dead friend. Survive only 16 days. In adventure. Damn! We died off of some bullshit. Wow! First things first. Love this game. And fame time. Cause why they just let yo. I died off of some stupid sh For real? I anything could have killed me. Anything like a monster or alien. My freaking crafting module killed me. For real? Ain't that about it. Anyway, I do love this game. No harsh feelings for this game. This game is awesome. This game is amazing. Like this game, I love it because it gives you more of like a choice, it's like a Telltale type thing, which I do love Telltale. So, it's, I like that. I like the choices. I like the um, like the choices that you make really impacts the way you like you know you do, or like how long you survive and all of that, or if you survive the whole game. But anyway, it's Puxy. And I love playing this game. Definitely gonna see this more. But anyway, it's Puxy. If you want to, just smash that like button to a million pieces. This is Puxy. And about Deuces.